As leaders of Africa, you have a historic responsibility. This is a critical moment for the Great Lake region and for Africa as a whole. We must put the cycle of violence behind us. For the Great Lakes region, I send to my foreign minister-elect, Barack Obama, who traces his roots to our country. The various protocols of the past we must appeal to everybody to prevent attacks on humanitarian workers, to allow humanitarian access. It's absolutely indispensable because a lot of people are suffering right now because of this country. Suffering without reason. There's no need for this. It's a problem that is on the Congolese soil. The Congolese fighting their own Congolese. The FDLR fighting on the Congolese soil, use being integrated in the Congolese army and working alongside them. So for us, it is a threat to our security, it's a threat to our livelihoods. These, don't forget that these people killed one million people and now have gone to contribute to the killing of many more people that you've seen, the insecurity that you see there. Uh, thank you very much for your concern and interest. I strongly urge you again to hold uh, militias uh, uh, to uh, stop the uh, fighting and uh, to resolve all this issue through uh, the dialogue and they have they must have seen the resolute and determined will of African leaders and international community uh, who really want to see the peace and stability they must think about the future of their own country and people in the region have been following up all the uh, proceedings of this meeting. Within the next few hours, uh, Laurent Nkunda must have in his hand a copy of the communique that have been issued here uh, today. And I'm expecting that he will uh, communicate to me or with me his reaction and that will determine the next step.